right now we are out on the tarmac at Sun and Fun, and here with me is Trey and Philip. Now, Trey, you're in the academy at CFAA. Tell me, what inspired you to be a part of that? I first saw it in Flying Magazine when um, I was sitting with my grandpa. He's been in aviation his entire life, and he looked at me and said, is this something you're interested in? And I was because I've been up flying before, and so I decided to go to the academy to learn more about aviation, and I've loved it ever since, and it's and opened the doors for many things for me, including flight training and other great opportunities. Now, I know they have four different tracks that you can go on at the academy. What are you on, and then what career path can you go into afterwards? I'm on the aerospace track right now in aviation, and uh, through this, I can go on to get bigger degrees in other main colleges like Embry-Riddle or Polk State, and then go on to be commercial pilot, military pilot, all types of different careers you can have off of the aerospace track. Now, I know you mentioned Polk State, but Philip, you're at Polk State. Tell me a little bit about the program that's developed there. Polk State's got a, a two-year program and a four-year program, and, and um, the four-year program just got approved, but basically they have an admin and a professional pilot. I don't know a whole lot about the professional pilot, but I know that um, in the admin world, you basically learn all there is to know about running an FBO, an airline, an airport, you know, the different administration side of things, and then you get introductory flights, so they, they want you to know what, what aviation is, but it's a beneficial for someone like Trey, who's doing flight training in high school, to go into it, because he can say, I don't need that flight, I, you know, I'm a pilot, and so um, you can move on and, and broaden your field by starting out in high school flying, and then expanding into, you know, airport administration and FBOs and things like that. So that's what Polk State's about. I think it's a, about expanding into the next realm. So, Right, and I know you graduated from CFA. Now, what is it that you really see as important about being able to move from your high school and then straight into something that's right here in town? It's local, and <laughs> local is key. So um, <laughs> for me, I wanted to be able to stay here and mentor the next level of kids that were graduating from the academy and show them that aviation is, is a, it can be a big part of their life and that it's not we're not superheroes because we're pilots even though a lot of people think that um, you can do it too and, and that's my, my favorite thing in all the world but at the same time I couldn't go into the military because of other problems so I got into air, airport administration and so I can work here at the airport internships and, and eventually part-time jobs and then full-time jobs while working with Breezer and, and teaching kids to fly and ground instruction right through flight instruction and for someone who's able to graduate high school get a pilot's license graduate high school and then become an instructor while going to college while living their dream it's it, it's all happening right here I don't have to live in Daytona and and go to Embry-Riddle but and then come here on the weekends I can do it you know I, I'm always available now, I know I've heard a lot about the six students and then the ones that graduated from CFA and the one that was still in CFA that created and went on their own flight to Wisconsin. Were you guys those pilots? I was one of them. Trey didn't make it this time. He's going next year. Um, what what we did was we we're, we're in, we have the Aero Club here, and it's, um, it's basically for high school and eventually collegiate level students that uh, want to learn to fly. You have to go through the Aero Club in order to get your flight training scholarship, so that's why the, it was created, because Sun and Fun legally can't issue a scholarship, and then, you know, if anything were to happen. Um, but anyway, the Aero Club was created, then it's like, okay, well, what are we going to do? Are we just going to learn to fly and then be done with it? No, you got to do cool things. So we come up with the idea first of, of uh, doing our solo cross countries to Thomasville, Georgia, which was a, a fly-in that's two days over the weekend. And we did that last year, and then it came up, or the year before last year, and then the summer came around and it's like, well, we flew on an airliner last year at Oshkosh, but do we really want to go the airline route again? And we're all licensed pilots. No, we're, we're going to fly ourselves. And so the local flight school gave us some airplanes and and uh, Mr. Ray gave us the gas. Sun and Fun provided uh, our van and, and uh, means of transportation while we were there and, and all of our tickets when we got there. So really all we had to do was bring money for food for two weeks and we jumped in our airplanes and flew all the way 1100 miles there and 1100 miles home barnstorming across america you know. i know that must have been an adventure for you and even though you weren't able to partake in that do you see yourself doing stuff like that in the future uh yes ma'am uh, i see myself doing a lot of things in the future over this past october i did the thomasville flying which i did my dual cross country with that and it was a lot of fun just go to fly-ins and 
see that type of culture with everything's aviation. So you just get to immerse yourself in just a lot of different educational things and you get to learn the trade through actually doing it and hopefully this coming up year I can make the Oshkosh trip like they did last year and do it all over again and it's just a lot of cool things to do. Well, you guys are a part of such a great program, and it's so nice to see people who really take advantage of the things that they have set out for them and take full opportunity with that. So good luck to both of you guys, and thank you. Thanks. Thank you.